Ready? Ready. Three, two, one. I hate running. It makes my knees, feet, and my legs sore. It just exhausts me. It takes up a lot of time, and good running shoes can be really expensive. Pretty much all of the physical aspects of running suck. But for some reason, I keep coming back. I keep putting on my shoes and getting out there. There's, there's something freeing about going outside and just running. Letting everything go for 20, 30 minutes. Hell, even a 10 minute jog can do wonders for my mental state. And I enjoy it because of that. I like getting out and letting nature wash over me and leave the craziness of the world behind. Running has never been anything more than that for me. So, when I was given the prospect of running a half marathon, 13.1 miles, further than I've ever pushed myself before, I realized that my relationship with running would change. No longer would I be going out to free my mind, rather, I was going out to challenge it. I knew my legs could handle it, but I wasn't sure what running in the sun for two or more hours would be like. Nevertheless, I signed up and training began, but not without a few bumps in the road. A few months before the race, I got COVID, which killed any momentum I had going to the race. Um, I just finished working out. I can only do like, I think I did 15 minutes worth of a workout and then my lungs just stopped, so that's probably a COVID symptom. It was incredibly challenging to get back on the trail and get my lungs used to any sort of exercise. And then, a few weeks before the race was supposed to happen, I started to get this really intense pain in my knee, which in turn caused pain in my ankles, my feet, and, and my hips. I tried to push through it, but eventually it got to the point where I could barely even make it a mile without having to stop. What I initially thought was going to be an entirely mental process quickly turned into one marred by physical obstacles. I went to see an orthopedic doctor to have my knee checked out, and thankfully it was nothing serious. It was just time for a new pair of shoes. So, one week before the race, I was lacing up my brand new, overpriced running shoes and trying my best to get back into the game. And, to my luck, the shoes helped. It took a few days for my legs to get back to normal, but everything was lining up so that I'd be ready to go by race day. Which leads us to April 19th, 2021, the day of the race. The first seven miles were easy. My legs felt better than they had in weeks. We were flying down the trail. But just after that seven mile mark, life got a whole lot harder. Eight miles. I gotta slow down. Jackie's a friggin' beast. Oh my lord. I don't think I'll stop her. I'm tired. Mentally, I hit a major wall and slowed down to walk for a little while. After that, it was just a completely different race. The mental aspect of running had been a breeze while my legs were doing fine, but once I started to feel real exhaustion, staying mentally calm was really, really tough. Okay, that's mile nine. We're stopping here, because we're trying to find somebody to get some water, because we're dying. dying. So, water time. Water and Gatorade, definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth stopping. I just hit. 11 miles, Jackie and I found a high school with the track, so we're going to try and do the last two miles up here. Hopefully just like 20, 25 more minutes left, and we're good. Once we got up there, I could feel the race coming to an end. I knew there was not much left. I just needed to give everything I had. 12 miles. One more to go. My calves are cramping so bad. Whew. I counted down the minutes, the steps, the laps, until finally... 13.1 miles. 13.1. Two and a half hours. I did it. Uh, I couldn't believe it. As we crossed the finish line, I genuinely felt like I might cry. The most mentally and physically demanding two and a half hours of my life were finally over. As I put in this project together, it has been a week since the race ended, giving me time to think about the race and what it means to me. I've come to realize that this might just be the beginning. I don't think I've ever hated running more than while I was running the half, but I also don't think I've ever felt that accomplished in my life. It felt amazing to have set this goal four months ago and then genuinely and completely follow through with it. 
Oftentimes, people, myself definitely included, set lofty goals for themselves and don't ever put in the time or effort to actually get there to do it. But I did this. I put in the work. I persevered through pain and sickness to get to the finish line. It makes me think about all of the other things that I could do if I just pushed through the hard stuff. And if we all worked just a little bit harder, I think the things we could accomplish would be innumerable. Although, I think for the foreseeable future, I am going to stick to shorter runs.